Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and today I've got an amazing chunk of technology. I don't know why I've waited so long to really dip my toes into this, these waters, but this thing is amazing. So let me open it up here. I've got it inside a cooler bag. It's not only recommended because of uh, temperature regulation, but also it's good storage, inexpensive. I'll put a link if you're interested into this particular one, and then I could, of course, get, uh, you know, with my Velcro panel or hook and loop panel, I could get custom made stuff. But anyway, let's take a look at this thing. What we have got is the Energizer. This is the PPS for portable power station. It's the PPS 700 W01. And what this thing is, is a giant battery with a few other tricks up its sleeve. Um, and as you know, Energizer is, is one of those companies that just produces outstanding stuff. Um, I have sung the praises of Energizer batteries. I use them uh, in all kinds of different things. They're my favorite battery, um, especially the lithium ones. But I also, I mean, I have Energizer kind of tools here. Here's a flashlight I was getting ready to do a review on um, that is in a form factor I like. But anyway, what's going on here is we have got a uh, power pack with multiple outputs. And, um, and this one has 626 watts on board. I've got one AC outlet. I've got three um, standard USBs, one high-speed USB that also goes to 12 volts. This is a USB-C. It actually has both power in and out capabilities, so I could grab my computer's charging cable and also charge this thing up. Um, or I could charge up my computer using that, or I could plug this in um, to charge a computer. And as more and more of my life gets you know, further and further away from um, basically, a, I don't know, a power pole or, a, you know, a grid. I'm ending up looking for different ways that I can use these tools, um, you know, to say, charge my tools, charge my other uh, electronics. You know, right now I'm using a whole bunch of different electronics. And the more I get further and further away, the more I need more and more power um, in a faster form than just plugging, say, the cigarette lighter in, in my truck. Anyway, so let's take a look at some of the features of this. First of all, it's got four different recharging methods. I've got a set of solar panels behind me. I'll get to that in a moment. So I've got, you can also get this with a set of 100 watt um, monocrystalline solar panels to charge this up. I can charge it up um, using the USB right here. I can charge it up using one of its onboard power cables. And it comes with, um, with different cables and uh, uses a, almost like a computer cable here to charge it up. So if I plug that in and then I can plug it right into the wall, fire it up. Um, and then, uh, well, so that's the four there. So here, here, the solar panels coming in, um, and then I can use the, um, what was the fourth there? Oh, the, I can use this to charge it as well using a standard um, plug that it, that it comes with to fire up this um, using vehicle power, especially driving down the highway. So there's a lot, lot you can do there. I've got different outputs here. Basically, the way this thing works is when I want to use something. Um, well, I don't know. How about this uh, DeWalt drill? Let's take that for a spin. I can just simply plug this in uh, right here. And the draw, you can see, I'll do it again, but you can see the draw on here is 220 watts. Um, that is way more than I can get using um, Milwaukee's um, adapter to plug into AC. That's more for recharging small things. I can't run a drill. I did a video on that where I tried to run a drill. Couldn't do it. But this absolutely... No trouble whatsoever. 
This thing weighs 11 pounds. Um, it's got a lot of onboard protection. It actually has the ability to run multiple ports, and then if you really tax the ports, um, it will actually then give you warnings or shut down. The other thing is, uh, if you don't tax the ports, you can use a whole bunch of them all at once. So you could charge multiple phones, etc. I charged um, a MacBook uh, Pro multiple times um, with this, just trying to drop the battery as I tested it. I tried it with uh, other household electronics, anything smaller. We can't. You know, it depends on the refrigerator, actually. We are that far along. Um, one funny thing is, um, it does have a light here. Uh, you can turn this on, and it fires up a, a, you know, basically a flashlight, brighter, or, if you notice, SOS. So you could turn that on, probably run for a year. This might be my year battery. But I thought it was kind of funny in the, uh, um, in the directions. Uh, it says, let me find it for you. It's just kind of cute because, of course, this is a global technology. Um, but right here, it says, do not, stare, do not stare the light straightly. So I won't. I will make sure not to do that. Um, anyway, it, uh, fairly lightweight given the, the size. Um, this particular one um, is a uh, lithium ion battery. They do make another one um, that uses a more modern, more high tech uh, battery that charges um, maybe many more times. I think it's a lithium phosphate, and that particular one is also available. Um, you can get a smaller version of this thing. Um, that runs on, or, or that holds, you know, maybe half as many uh, electrons as this guy does. But overall, I am thrilled with this thing. The more I use it, the more I think, how come I haven't been playing around with these before? So let's take a look. Um, a couple other things here. Uh, some of the things comes with a USB-C cable, comes with the power port charger here. So I could plug this in. Um, and plug it into my car here to uh, charge it up. Um, it also comes with a whole bunch of different um, ports that mount into the existing port. So if I was going to try to charge it, I could, you know, charge it up, which is um, an option, or use it as an output, um, depending on on what I need. Because there are so many, there doesn't doesn't seem to be an industry standard. Um, unfortunately, for these guys. Um, and then I've got a connector kit here that I can use with the uh, solar panels. Um, it's a fast kit. I've got a set of large solar panels um, that this would just snap right into. And if I bring this forward, here's the box it came in. Notice, uh, uh, right, let me show you that. Move back, back just a hair. Um, you can choose you know, one of the many different countries that this comes uh, comes to. So here's the solar panel. Move some of these things off the table. And what we've got are four big uh, 25, I assume, they're, tw um, they're uh, 25 watt solar panels. And there are four of them. This folds up into a briefcase. It actually has a storage compartment here. I can run USB, move that up just a hair so you can see better. Um, I can actually run USB devices directly into that right here. Um, or it's got the output that I can run uh, directly into the Energizer power station. And this whole thing folds up nicely. into a briefcase that has some onboard kickstands as well. So these will help set it up. You can move it around, quite flexible. Um, this particular uh, solar panel is available as an option um, onto the, uh, the price of the, the um, power station. But overall, uh, this thing is incredible. This thing really does uh, do 
um, a lot more than I thought, even though it does exactly what I thought it would do. So having this much energy, and I've, I've, I've looked at a bunch of these over time. There's a lot of them that promote themselves on, on YouTube and on the on internet, um, the internet with, you know, they just reckless abandon. So having something by a battery company that I know and I trust really made a difference. And it's not one of the most expensive. You can spend a lot more. Um, so I was happy to uh, see that this was right in line with the output um, that it has in terms of price. Definitely um, something that's got me excited. This will be going with me this summer, you know, on many adventures, including my long one that we're hoping to leave maybe sometime in a week or two. Um, anyway, I thought I'd bring this to your attention. Energizer was kind enough to send me this, um, brought it to my attention, but I kind of knew that these were out there and that Energizer, you know, was in the market. But I, uh, I was just kind of waiting. I almost needed that little extra kick. Maybe this will be the kick for you to um, really consider this kind of power. Now, if you're just going to do it for an emergency backup, they recommend you charge it maybe every three to six months just to make sure. Um, it is used often in things like, uh, you know, hurricane kits and, um, you know, emergency essential kits. Um, but I'm intending to use it hard. I'm going to keep looking at these things because they are just, they're amazing. But I think I started at the top here uh, as far as my needs and uh, wanted to bring that to your attention. If you have questions, you know, post them in the comments. If you're curious, um, you can get into smaller ones just to start out. But my guess is you're going to want a bigger one fairly quickly simply because the more you use it, the more you want to use it. And with that, dock out.